All right. Uh, yeah, welcome back to me playing Tears of the Kingdom. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Okay. I'm back here. Well, we resolved the Zelda thing, so let's just see what happens. Welcome back. Looks like it was pretty tough. So how'd it go? Hmm. I see. To summarize... There's no mistaking that what you all saw at the castle was the Demon King from the legend of the imprisoning war. And the princess you've been seeing was actually an imposter. And the reason she appeared at Hyrule Castle was so the Demon King could lure Link into a trap. I knew something was weird. I mean, about Princess Zelda not doing anything to help Hyrule with these troubles everywhere. But it's all connected. The upheaval, the problems our homelands have been facing, the fake princess. It's all happening because the Demon King came back. Mm. So then that means Princess Zelda isn't actually here. Instead, she's in the distant past and not in the present, right? Mm. Yes, yeah, so we should consider that to be the case, bizarre as it sounds. It also seems Princess Zelda was trying to somehow defeat the Demon King in the past. Mm. Our ancestors made a vow to Zelda. They swore that when the Demon King was revived, their descendants would awaken as sages and fight alongside Link. Aww. But with Princess Zelda in the past, we can't ask her what the plan was supposed to be. And she can't be here to fight with us either. Aww. Also, we don't know anything about the Demon King other than the fact that he's bad news and super strong. What do we do? Mm -hmm. Based on what you each have told me, it appears the princess was making preparations in anticipation of the Demon King's revival in this era. There must be some hint we still haven't figured out here in our time. <sighs> right you are. We cannot afford to stand still at a time like this. It is imperative that we act. Mm. But without any leads. Mm. Oh wait. You said the six sages were with King Raru when he fought against the Demon King during the imprisonment rule, right? Wind, fire, water, lightning, hmm. and time. That was the princess. Oh, wow. I see. What is it? What do you see? That's it. There was one more sage back then. Exactly. One more sage that might be here now. I'm sure this is the lead we were hoping for. It'll be well worth us. It'll be well worth our while to search. Each of you awakened as sages at ruins from the Age of Lessons, right? Maybe the remaining sage is in a similar location. That makes sense. So we should search major ruins from the Age of Legends. There's good a place as any to start. If we just searched all of Hyrule randomly, we'd probably never find the sage. Uh. All right, we have a plan. Let's split up and the work. Let's split up the work and get to it. Yeah. You four go back to your homelands and gather information about ruins that might be related to the remaining sage. Linky, search around and see if you can find any other undiscovered leads. Huh. Everyone's relying on you. Don't let us down. <laughs> yep. I'm on full hearts now. A puzzle I may have to undo one now. Assuming there isn't another boss. There might be.
But uh, yeah, today I'm going to spend some time in the underground. I just want to do I guess, a little bit of more roaming out here first. Again, just because I skipped over this area more or less. Half expecting to run into a Korok. <laughs> I kind of walk to the other stable. There's the other memory as well. There's, there's uh, a couple of other things. Said I'm not gonna afford a shield. bridge. Huts. Haven't found a Korok here. Okay, so it's usually every bridge has one, but that might not technically be a bridge. Someone needs to get to his friend. Oh, I thought that was a car. <laughs> I got baited. It's just the shadow from a distance. But I've already done that. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I gotta go to Tarrytown. Oh, what did I do?
sucker. Silver. I got afraid that I uh, unfavored it. Okay, let's not get caught up on this. Um, all right, I gotta dive down this one. thing that I did not want to completely progress, but we're going to do it. <laughs> Shrine of Light nearby. Um... You know what, that doesn't surprise me, because there's a thing. Okay, we need to change clothing. Oh, there we go. Why is there lava here? Okay, but that light will, will reveal the location. I'm pretty sure. Wonder. 
I don't think it lets you ascend without looking for it. Yeah, I'll be a little broken if that. Alright, but we know where it is. Somewhere over here. I didn't want to get into the business of having that thing mess me up. random place for a frog, but maybe there's more of them. Okay. 
feel like I don't see those frogs very often. Chasm has like a, a side passageway. Scared the lizard. Wait, no, they didn't. Damn, I was expecting a cave entrance here. Sure. Karen, how's it going? Wait, did this... No, it's fine. I thought another one just went off immediately. done. Yeah, I mean, look, this bow is, uh, is already... It's already gone. It's Friday, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, they got together. It was good. Just kind of kicked back and chilled. But I am, I am a bit wrecked. Okay. 
Okay, well, there's multiple here. Is there a third sign somewhere? I don't know, we'll see how we go. I do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I get home and I'm just like, okay. In shutdown mode, but we'll see. It's also pretty cold. You know, the appeal of, like, bed and watching stuff is is high. Ah. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that worked. There we go. Ah! How's the president standing? Ah! Oh, yeah, I ate- the other thing is I ate a lot of food, so I'm like... <laughs> it's still very, very... <laughs> Very full. And yeah, I mean, food and drinks, so, you know. Did I talk to Pura? I talked to her just at the start of today, because, you know, I was back at Lookout Landing, and then I talked to her there. So I got the next quest. Tentacle. Ah. Tentacle was a lot rarer than it used to be. There it is. Yeah. Is the kid's last day of school is going to be noisy next week. Oof. Well. I wish I could uh, provide words of comfort or encouragement. But I'm not sure how to how to put them together at the moment. If I can upgrade anything, I've, I've gotten some materials. I think this one does doesn't make any noises. Yeah, this one's more subtle. Yeah, not really. It's lizard tails that I'm missing. It's all lizard tails. I feel like they just don't drop. Like, I've killed a lot of Lizalfo, so they just don't drop the tail. Maybe because I'm just... I'm using arrows to kill them, and maybe that just removes... 
It just removes the potential for that to happen. I don't know. Hyping by sleep in. <laughs> well, I do hope it works out for you. If you want Hinoxes, go fight the uh, the triplets. They're like at uh, Farron at the lakes. There's three of them, and then just when a blood moon happens, just go back. And the three lakes where the waterfalls are, so there's like um Korda, Rodai, and Kalora at all three of those. There's one brother at each lake. Nice and easy one. Wait, I didn't get. Apparently, I didn't get this. Okay. Well. Probably because I glided across. to the temple of time. Yeah, uh, that I did pretty early on. I completed that quest line. This I think I did. Pretty certain I did. Where is this Korok? Ah, there it is. It was in a blind spot. Definitely want the. It's a quest line. I'm not sure if I can 
say something without spoiling it completely. find a cave. Maybe I need to purchase from something higher. Hmm. Interesting. You'll keep looking. Yeah, I guess the hint I'll give is like the direction or at least that you the thing that you need to find is on the Great Plateau from memory. So don't leave the plateau. Let's see where I haven't been. I haven't been to the navel. I'm going to the navel. Otherwise, I mean, if you give up, I can just say it. Might be at the top of this one. Whilst I was um, heading to the to the thing, I popped into the inner city, and um, there's this new store that's opened up that just sells American snack foods. Another one of them, but just at a glance, it seemed like it, the prices were a bit more fair, so I kept it in mind. I'll probably check it out at some point. happened on? Most likely. Yep. I gotta see if they have Baja Blast. It might be a bit too soon for that, because that's like... I'll try, but... That's one of those things that's been hyped up, and I feel like it's gonna be difficult to find it for a little while. But then once that dies down, it'll be fine. surprised because we have Taco Bell now it was just it perplexed me that they didn't it's such a weird thing because it's we've always heard about Baja Blast like people in Australia are aware about it and yet when they decided to open Taco Bell here they just didn't have the drink and it doesn't make sense because that would have been an easy way to get people in the door I think people would have gone to try Baja Blast instead of Taco Bell like it's just that's more of a reason to go try something than, 
Yeah. Oh no. Very strange. There might be a reason why. I already see it. <laughs> Baja Blast is good or from. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, it's my favorite American snack. That's a good question. I mean, it, the, the problem is I've just had them very erratically, kind of. Like, I'll have one, and then it'll be a few years, and then I'll have another, and then it'll be more years, and I don't have them on a frequent enough basis. Because they're just kind of this thing that, oh, it, compared to, like, you know, my favorite bag of potato chips, for example, they're just, you know, a couple dollars more expensive. So it's, it was like a, a novelty. But every time I've had, you know, an American snack, I've enjoyed it. I went down too low, didn't I? E maybe? I gotta turn around. I mean, I did enjoy the Cool Ranch Doritos, they were great. Um, Flaming Cheetos, I mean, they're alright. Whilst I have had, you know, the flavors of Pop-Tarts we don't have here, it's something that I probably, just just me personally, it's not that they're bad, it's just I, with sweet stuff I have to be in the mood to have sweet stuff. I haven't tried spicy nacho Doritos. Oh, Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its were damn good. I think if they weren't, like, maybe a, a dollar or so, or so cheaper, I'd probably get them on a more regular basis. I would say Cheez-Its, now, now that I say that out loud. They disappeared quickly. <laughs> And then I tried cheese, what is it, cheese nips? I forget what they're called. But like the competing brand, and no, it, it, it doesn't taste good. They weren't nearly as good. Yeah, they weren't great. I was expecting a, a similar experience from them. Uh, no. It, it just does not compare. Not comparable in the slightest. I was very disappointed with them. <laughs> they're nasty. I mean, I wouldn't say they're horrible, but definitely like, I was, I was like, ah, oh. ah. Oh. This is not what I was expecting. <laughs> Don't want them to disappear. It's a sizzle fin trout. Oops. 
Ja. I just can't believe just the discrepancy. Do I got any Entom Entomman products? Uh, give me an example of one. I'm terrible with names. So I'm not sure if I, I recognize the company. But maybe the actual product. I mean, a lot of the stuff is, is... If they don't have a subsidiary or, like, operations in Australia, they'll just be at a specialty store, generally speaking. It's like cookies and small cakes. Okay. Um, no. I doubt it. But, again, if I wanted to find that stuff, I, I could probably just, uh... Go to one of the specialty stores. I'm sure they'll have that stuff. Is it? If I'm looking for a snack, it'll always be something on the savory or salty side. Or spicy. That's just... To go a sweet snack, yeah, it's it's rare, very rare for me. I was looking for a s circle, but it doesn't look like there's one that I can dive into. Hmm, where is this Korok? Intamin's base in Long Island. Kids love the soft chocolate chip cookies and muffins. Okay. Yeah. So cookies and muffins, the only time... I feel like, okay, the last time I had a cookie was maybe just right before the pandemic hit. And a muffin maybe last year. And that was just in the context of coffee each time. Just I, I just don't have a sweet tooth. It's just it's, it's not that I don't enjoy them, it's like I just get this feeling of oh I've, I think I've had my fill, you know? I like them with coffee because it's, it's just, it's a good, it's a good compliment to coffee with no sugar, like. But also, I guess from a health perspective, it's, it's on, it's probably, <laughs> it's probably a good thing. I mean, not that salt is much better, but sugar definitely, um, yeah. I got distracted by this cork. I was gonna go in that cave. I feel like a sugary snack you have to do to you have to do more to work it off than a salty one. Ah I need to reach my friend. Where's your friend? Where are you facing? You're facing that way. Oh. Yeah, you can just I'll just
I want to try something. Uh oh. I want to try something different. Because, you know, we're all about innovation here. That's not going to work. I already know this. But just hear me out on this one. Okay, no, no, that's fine. Ah, hey. oh, shit. Come back. They're both gone. Fuck. I was trying to do something clever. I still want to try it. This is getting thrown everywhere. I'm not sure where the other wheel went. But that's not what I wanted to try. Okay. I'm going to try it again. Because I'm kind of curious about it. Take one less. Alright, now let me try this again. Oh, this was so annoying. be able to do this without it. Let's <laughs> see what happens here. We <laughs> No. I was gonna attach it like that, but it's fine. Just with this carriage, but I don't think it's gonna work. These things seem to have a life of their own. I mean, I'm not using the stuff just because if I always have an answer for it, it's just less fun, I guess. I like to still do stuff on the fly. Like, if I really wanted to get this down here quickly, I would have just used the little tractor thing that I built. But I, I want to have fun trying new stuff. Sir, <laughs> why are you flipping? 
I think it needs a stabilizer. Uh, hang on. Like... That's, that's my, you know, it could probably work. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There we go. There's still another Korok here. Oh, it's just this uses a lot more different parts, but... Functional. <laughs> All right. Anyway, <laughs> stop wasting time. I'm going to go in the cave first. <laughs> Hey, what happened there? Probably not gonna work. But I'm making shields. Maybe it'll work. It'll probably throw it off balance. No. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, it does throw it off balance. It does make it harder to steal. Okay. Um, let's just undo this. It needs a stabilizer, but let's just... I think I'll just go for a run at it. Treat this as like a Mario Kart thing. Yeah, overcomplicated it. Pretty simple. I mean, that's one way to stop it. It 
sturdy. It didn't, it didn't get destroyed. Oh, fuck off. What a dickhead. <laughs> Where is that even coming from? I'm not even sure how many I'm up to now. This had better be uh, already worthy. I cannot imagine there's very much left. From a shrine perspective, I know the Koroks are still... and the President. At least, there's at least two more. I gotta find the frog. attention to that. I just don't think they're worth fighting. Okay, so this is the entrance of the cave. Where is this frog? It's 
either going to be a side passage or it's up. Huh. Okay, hang on. Hey, Gammy, what's up? How's it going? Uh, I don't think it's this way. This is just going to the... Yeah, bye. Let's go back down. So what is this? Jeez, that's like a weird spot, but okay. <laughs> that didn't work the way it usually does. <laughs> Alright, fine. I was trying to be smart. Yeah, it's pretty cold um, here in Melbourne as well. Got a uh, hoodie blanket. And when we Australians say it's cold, it's not that cold, but cold for what we're acclimated to. Jeez, would they really make you climb this high? This is this is nothing. Why is this here? This is just a fake out. around 10 celsius here at seven dude <laughs> please you're still in the double digits it's gonna go down to five like a side thing. There we go. Found you. That's what you're acclimated to at the end of the day.
but you know, as much as we're cowards in, in winter, summer, we handle it pretty well. We don't, we don't fall apart that easily. All right, I've been here. Thirty Celsius, no problem. That's beautiful summer weather. It's colder in Melbourne. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm further south, like as south as you can go on the mainland. I said I was going down to the underground. I mean, I was, but then I found a light route that kind of uh, reflected a shrine that I hadn't found yet. In my defense, I, I did go down there. I did. It's just, uh... Okay, I'd be willing to bet there's, like, something in this area. What's the fastest way over there? Okay, uh, yeah, do tower, and then just shoot across. I did go there for, like, 15 seconds. <laughs> okay, a bit more than that, but... that way. Okay, that way. I'll use this to get extra height. Oh yeah, no, there's probably a shrine in, in this hot mess over here. But I'm not gonna fuck with it just yet. These are oct Octoroks. I didn't know children stuff blew that off. Okay. Nice. 
another one. Cats below. Hooded blankets are legit. <laughs> Don't have to turn heating on when you have one of those. Wait, did I hear a cave? Time to swap into. There's never any Clorox in the cave. good cave to be honest. Easy kills on these So it wants me to ride the log, clearly. I don't think I need to do. Not when I have full Zora gear. Ow. No, it's still fine. Affiliate birthday thing is making me laugh because it's just like, you appreciate the well wishes, but man, it's just such a pale corporate thing to celebrate. Congratulations on the day that Amazon started taking 50%. Streamer anniversary makes sense to celebrate, but the day you started getting paid, I don't know, man. I guess some people see affiliate as an achievement, but. The way it worked for me was, uh, when I started streaming- oh. 
When I started streaming, the affiliate program wasn't a thing. And then they opened it up, and then I got it. So there was, like, no process. There wasn't, like, a grind for me or anything like that. I didn't have to do what people have to do now. So its, it's impact is not as, as big. What an interesting cave. That means the rest of the rubber gear is here. Which would explain a lot, because... I have uh, not really explored Farron in the slightest. Just because it rains here way too often. Where am I? Where is here? Oh. Okay. But hey, Monolith, how's it going? Here is here. Here is but a state of mind as we are always here. We are always but in the present. If you're in the past, you're living wrong. This is a, uh... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I've explored much here, so there's probably a bunch of Koroks. <laughs> is that why I live in the future? I mean, it's close. So it can be. How have I not come across a Korok? This is a vast area that I have not explored. Right? Yeah. I guess more that way. Alright. Shit, there's a Korok here. There's definitely a Korok. It has to be. I just saw that formation. I was like, yep, that's definitely a Korok. Might not even be symmetry, it might just be that this one's just straight up the answer. It's the one on the left, all of them are on the right, it's this one. No? Or do I just have to patch this one? There we go.
Oh, I'm still so full. <laughs> It was like straight up out of the scenes that you see in anime where the main character just goes to some restaurant after having a fight and then they just keep bringing out more and more food. That's basically what it was and just different kinds of stuff. Like you watch that stuff and you think, oh no, that's not real life. Oh no, it, it, you can most definitely go to places that do that. I figured it'd be something like this. <laughs> and there was one that we just, we finished eating there, then we went to some other place, hung out for a while, and then ate more, drank. <laughs> It's just, man. Well, I mean, it was good. It was pretty, pretty chill. Korok. Most likely. No? What is this? Hmm. Interesting. One tree, two tree, three trees. like a shrine riddle or something. This might be a shrine quest. This looks very, um... Like, on purpose. Tibia's Hollow. Okay. I, mean, I don't see anything nearby that I can interact with. Hmm. I didn't start this quest yet. No. I wasn't aware there was a quest yet. It's okay. I'll leave it. I'm sure it'll pop up later. Whatever it might be. I don't want to know what it is. <laughs> Nah, I'm sure I'll come across it later. That's fine. I'm just going for a walk around here. Huck. 
Come on, Korok. Where are you? Swap to uh I said I'll walk. <laughs> I said walk. Good lord. I'm like currently in this No matter where I go, there's just a particular sentence being repeated. Oh. When I play Diablo 4 with a friend, every time these fur boots drop, it's always boots with the fur. Everybody in the club looking at her. Um, yeah. There's a book journal here. Hold on. Legend has it this is when I hit a treasurer in this cave long ago. Throw the spear with a wing from the pedestal through the ring. Okay. Got it. I already know what this is gonna be. Well. Okay, hang on. Let me save in case I'm wrong. But pretty certain I'm correct. Ah, it's a shrine. Neat. stick back. Okay, so this was one that I guess I was just not gonna find.
already were they? I'm gonna explore the underground today. That's that's what was going to happen today. The underground was going to get explored. Blame the light route. Oh yeah, there's still the frog. Where is frog? Over there. This is interesting. Is this going to be something? Well, that's just, okay. Well. Alright, that's that done. Uh, uh I mean. I should go... Alright, I'll tell you what. I'll go through here. Okay, that chasm hasn't been gone down. I'll make a start from there. Before the other in the ground. Um, otherwise, let's have a look. Where was like a... Area on the map that I haven't really... Gone. Hmm... I mean, I think coverage is, is a lot better than it was before. I mean, here? It's probably just Korok there. I don't want to start hunting Koroks yet. Oh, this is a... Oh, no. It stopped raining. Good. Yeah, ha ha.
This is surprisingly quiet now. I mean, there's no Korok there, so I'm not that interested in it. Okay. Ah, easy. Slightly missed. So probably good enough to go redeem more stuff. Maybe. They're just shields, to be honest. It's like... I'm not gonna really <laughs> gain that much of an advantage. I just don't... I don't really use shields. I was half expecting the president to be here. That's oh, a Hinox. One of the Hinox brothers. <laughs> that looked funny. The immediate stand up. stood up. That was weird. It was like... Oh. Look because I didn't headshot it. Nice. 
Those things are so rare. I need- I need a lot of them. Was a magical gathering. <laughs> so much easier. I just wish they had more slots for favorites. I would do it with everything. I don't know what it is with them just offering very small amounts of things. Be as creative as you want, but you can only save eight of your creations. feel like I was going around in a circle. for the time being. Um, hang on. What was the sword thing again? I should probably get the last memory. Yeah, I thought it was up there. Just had to double check. It's been enough time. <sighs> it's like somewhere along here, huh? Good take. Mountain. I didn't mark this one with a star. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Distraction. Um, just to make like a half hour buff. It's not that I need. Uh, hey, hey. It's not that I need its parts anymore, but making a half hour buff. Oh, shit. I fell down. It's okay, I'm fine. Plus more shards. Hey, shards, where are you? not too horrible. Alright, where is this thing? There's the top of that. Oh, it's heading that way. This is not useful. Alright. Out. this way. Vaguely remember it being over this way. I think I can see it. It's over there. Which I guess this tower didn't really help that much. But I can see it. It's over there. I suppose I can go back to this.
This one shouldn't be hard to track down anyway. Should be near the shrine. There it is. Oh, I didn't get the Korok for this one either. Which is fine. <laughs> kind of figured it'd be at the summit, but I wanted to check first. Easy YouTube thumbnail. Just thinking about that. <laughs> to restrain him somehow. This is after all the shit went down. But Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. Have faith. Have faith. the sword coming through the portal. <gasps> it's V. Master, I have deduced that I am 39% functional. In its current state, I believe there is a 1% chance of success. Or whatever the fuck she would say in this circumstance. Telling me that Link is safe? You traveled through time to find me and recover your strength. Zelda, I believe there is a reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. I know why I am 
here. It's something only I can do. We will finally stop him. Uh. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. Forever changed. Link! You must find me. It was funny when they revealed this trailer that showed that in particular. And, uh... People found out what it was on the map, but I guess it was more complicated because it was in the past. <laughs> the derpy dragon. Guess. Yeah, I mean, how convenient that I can just go there. Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. That would be a hard thing to eat. <laughs> Look at the size of it. Minoru, I'm counting on you. Nintendo Switch device. Yeah, it is, it is a giant pill. That thing's gotta be like the size of a golf ball. I will restore the Master Sword for you. I will care for it until the time comes. I will pour my sacred power into it. It will be the weapon that defeats the Demon King. Yeah, that thing is gigantic. 
To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. Probably should have made the connection with the hair, but... I mean, I figured that dragon was going to be either Minoru or her. The eyes, it's just they could have done better with the eyes. It's just the eyes that make it look derpy. Also explains why there's Silent Princess here. Now. Can I pick all that? Oh, just the dragon shadow all of a sudden. So this would have given me the armor upgrade. Oh well. Are they trying to say that this is the art? There's no way they planned that all the way in advance. That that's why they call it the Silent Princess. That's why the flowers called that because she's quiet and she generates these flowers. Cool. So all that effort I went to. <laughs> Well, that's done. Oh, well, there's a, there's a memory here. There's a couple of... It's fine. They weren't tier memories. I did them in order. That's all that matters. That's fine. Not that fast. <laughs> I did my best. Um, Alright. Uh, I guess I should do this for a while. Huh?
way to do that one. It's, it's, I just don't want to waste rockets, I guess. Not that I'm using them much anymore, but it just feels like I am wasting. on that fight. I'm gonna progress it. Okay, let's swap to I just gotta walk around. <laughs> Now I know how this works, so... There's a shrine of light here. There would have to be. There. 
No, it was just the icon that was... Okay, my bad. It's like... The icon was weird. I just couldn't see it. Because it was covered. Okay, false alarm. I thought I'd found a new one. Does the tower count? I don't think it does. Alright. Ugh, this is kind of why I was avoiding this. <laughs> it's just this lengthy... Oops. This lengthy process it's going to be. I'll just do them on this side. Alright, and then let's just see what comes out of this. So where are we going first? We're going to green first. Dragon. Nadra. Um. Okay, hold on. What did I need from Nadra? I needed something from Nadra. Um. Deity Mass. This Deity Set Upgrade. TOTK. Right, so it's the armor. So what's the armor for? Armor is on 12, so we're at 3. Oh. This is just the horn, apparently. Shit. Um, okay, hang on. I need to... Somehow hit this horn. Okay. No time to think. Distractions. Uh oh. Well, that went flying somewhere. Where'd it go? I don't know when that went flying. I, f 
fucked it up. I have no idea where the horn went flying. The fuck? Well, I'm on a ceiling. Oh, there. Nice. <laughs> At the fight for it, it seems. Kind of inferior. Yeah, it's kind of inferior in every single way. I kind of wish this light, the beam for the set bonus was a bit stronger. It just doesn't let you see too far ahead. Okay. There it is. Oh, headset batteries are low. I can swap them when this light root animation thing goes off. One sec. I guess I just didn't want to remove the utility of the, uh, the light emitting materials. I didn't take a break for tea. I'm full, and it's only been two and a half hours. Like, I don't think I could fit anything in me. in that direction. <sighs> Just keep editing the stamp to green and then yeah.
Looks like there's another fight over there. much easier to slip in this game than it ever was in Breath of the Wild. I just find Link slips on hills way more often now than he used to. Okay, where is this thing? Probably skip the animation. <laughs> okay, uh, next one over here. I think that's it over there. I should fight this thing. Just cause easy. <laughs> Shit, that was a waste. is no longer threatening. It's already dead, in fact. <laughs> this thing, since this thing gives you crystallized charge, it's worth it. Just keep fighting shit and we'll give me more battery. I just, I just want to pick that up. Let's make every single thing in the game use the same button. Interact. Talk. Pick up. Engage. Jump. When you're climbing. <laughs> nah, it doesn't do jump when you're climbing, but... I mean... So many buttons on the controller. Hmm. 
and yet it's all just a couple. here anyway. Ah uh, yeah, I should be going for the treasures as well, shouldn't I? Kinda missed one over here. But I can teleport to the individual light routes, it's just whatever. It's a goma. What the fuck is that thing? And I forgot. like, huh. I'm surprised you find that here. Can I just... Right on the eye. Um, okay. Got this one. Oh, it goes into phase two. Okay. Ah, oh, that's bullshit. doing this oh man
Ah, oh, dude, it was. I was spamming it. Very finicky, like it doesn't want to lock on right away. There we go. Oh, shit. I might wait for the Master Sword. Come back off cooldown. Shouldn't take long. Cool. I mean, that's... Yeah, that's a whole battery. Gladly take that. This looks so stupid. Does it say how much the sword has left? Seven minutes! I, don't know if, I mean, there is another way to do this. It's kind of annoying, but... I'm not standing around for seven minutes. I thought it was going to be something like four minutes or something. I mean, I understand why the cooldown is so long. It's just so you don't stop using the other weapons. I get it. I do. Honestly, I've been lucky that I've been able to carry this so far. I think I may have hit the limit on how far I can carry this. Maybe.
on the lake. Much time now. Four minutes. Ah. I need to light up here and see what I'm dealing with. Oh, there is no, there is no way I'm dragging this across here. It's just not, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's not happening. There's too much uh, terrain there. Cool, so we're gonna have to wait. Because this is a good uh, thing to shove in it. <sighs> Bad timing. Yep, Jeopardy music. <laughs> what are my plans for tomorrow? Sleeping. Probably watching stuff. I don't have to. I don't have to think about anything for the next few days. So it's gonna be miserable tomorrow. It's like today is cold and tomorrow is gonna be rainy. So. I'm just gonna laze about. I mean, I might have to clean around here, but besides from that... I'll probably watch a bunch of One Piece. It's been a while since I've watched some. You want to be lazy, sleep, and eat pizza. That's that's a dream right there. I mean, no matter how lazy I say I'm gonna be, I still gotta do like functional adult stuff at the end of the day. I'm just entertaining myself by climbing on this thing. Do I have a washer and dryer? Just a washer, no dryer, no room for dryer. How do I dry my clothes? Ah, oh, I have like this indoor hanger thing, and then I usually put it out on like this very tiny patio. But if it's raining outside, I can't really do it. It's like the entryway. It's semi undercover. But yeah, I just put it out there. It usually dries within the day. As long as I do it in the morning. Dry is not common. They are, but it's just like... Grew up in a poor immigrant family. It's like, what? You're gonna go pay to do something Mother Nature does for free? 
<laughs> and you know, despite not being in that situation now, and being able to afford that stuff, it's just... I can't shake that. I can't- I just can't shake that. I don't need anything. But, if I can hit it for a free item, why not? Okay, do we have anything that's like a... There should be one that gives it more height. That would be nice. Like a bow that just lets you shoot. Wait, doesn't... Hang on. Doesn't the... Fires long range arrows. That's the one we want. What? Was that, was that fine or not? All right, whatever, man. <laughs> Can't say I didn't try. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. It's laziness and it's also just, uh, well, just can't shake that habit. It's because you have to sit, you have to go, you have to go to one. You have to have physical money, at least for most of them. I haven't been to one that, um, has like a machine to just pay it with a card. So you have to have physical money, which I don't I don't have really where possible. Um And then you have to sit around and wait for that shit. Or I could just put it outside and then just check on it later. It's just What's what's the rush? Like it's not like I need the clothing right away. It's like, yes, a sense of urgency. I must have this clothing as soon as possible. Like, I'm good. <laughs> it could be out there for two days and I wouldn't need that clothing. Also, I live in Australia and uh, sunshine is, uh, is pretty plentiful. Just, unfortunately, this season is very miserable. But other than that, I mean, summertime, you <laughs> leave it out there for a, a, a couple of hours, it's done. Laundry is so easy in the summertime. Sometimes it's not even an hour, like... It just dries so quickly. <laughs> so yeah, I mean that... I think the only times I've gone to one is, um, for larger things, like if I need to wash, um, sheets or blankets in winter, um, cause those, the, yeah, they're a pain in the ass to have them dry in a day when the weather's really shit. So that would probably be the only time where it's like, yeah, okay, that's, that's like a convenience. It, it does help in that regard. Two 
kids go through a lot of clothes, you're constantly doing laundry. Ah, I suppose that makes sense as well, it's like different circumstances. Please wait a moment. I'd know how to do it. You, the famous hero, like you might, I was sure of it. Look, first, I'll rough you up a little, then I'll find, oh, that's Giga. Yeah, of course it is. That might have been a little overkill. Speaking of Yiga, I haven't done like the central Yiga event. Welcome, this was, oh, it says the same thing. Don't worry, scheme of stone and then you're not missing out on anything. What is that? Launch pad. Yeah, probably useful. Nothing different. Yeah, we have to keep these, but we can spend these. big ones um because i need them to upgrade this this light gear okay where are we heading to next the idea of this area just I feel like there was a missed opportunity here they could have added like a dungeon or something that might not necessarily I mean result in something significant but like imagine they had another dungeon down here or a couple of dungeons and you got armor sets by completing them or something instead of it just being like this treasure chest in, in this void I'll go fight it. All of them are worth fighting. Good. 
Oh yeah, how am I supposed to purify this? How's this gonna work? What if I throw a Sunderlion at it? Many of them, but let's just try. No, it doesn't work. I don't know how I'm supposed to fight this thing. Like, it's just gonna corrupt me. Oof. Oh my god, just. <laughs> I was spamming the button so much. Thank you. It doesn't corrupt you, that's fine. I thought sanding on it was gonna do the same effect as like corrupted ground. Ooh, diamond. Good. I feel like none of these are gonna really... They're not gonna... Yeah, they're gonna be weaker. Surprised the thing on the back of the talus wasn't so nice. <laughs> Would have made more sense instead of like the standard ore. That's what the frogs are for. Oh, it's... Ooh. Ooh, I like this. I want... I want Gibdo parts. They are very good for fighting, um... Gleox. Oh. Right. Sure. Down for this.
Okay, hang on. I should be... That was a quick first phase. There's no light here though, so uh, second phase is going to be interesting. I hate, I hate how those things open up. Like it's that, that weird phobia where it just looks disgusting just because it's a bunch of holes. Oh, they don't drop horns. That's a waste. Oh no. I ran out of energy again. Which means if this drops something to fuse. I have to wait 10 minutes. Oh god damn it. Oh joy. Okay, this has been worthwhile. Battery's gonna receive a big upgrade. Um, hold on. Chillin' Rai, there you are. No, it's not Chillin'. Where's Chillin'? Chillin'. Damn it. Or aim the wrong way. Whatever, it's fine. I'm gonna be lazy. Severe drop. I really have, I mean, it's not the end of the world if it disappears, but. It's still here. Um, Alright, so there's a couple more I can do. This explains why people just end up with large batteries so quickly. If you fight everything down here, it doesn't take that long. Is that a Finox or is that a frog? The frog. And multiple ore, so I'll take it. It's a 
good, good spot. Do we have anything that's like a hammer? Technically. All right, it doesn't have the negative effect. That's cool. I don't use your Nova because it goes flying. That's the problem. I don't want to miss out on stuff just because it went flying. Oh, that's already done. And started counting down. Oh my god. <laughs> Chulin! The Chulin carry. Alright, that's how this one works. Man, I almost finished it that quickly. Club's a good one. Stop it. I didn't despawn my scale. The thing that I was carrying around. I could fuse it to the hammer. That's there. How much time does the Master Sword have left? Four minutes. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I'd rather fuse it to the Master Sword. it as long as I need to. Okay, hang on. Ah, oh, this looks like a drop. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a drop. It's a pretty big one at that. Yeah. Okay, as long as I can see where it's going. Okay, where'd it go? Did it fall? It was right next to the bomb. Oh, there it is. Jeez, scared the crap out of me. It, just... <laughs> it blended in so well. Okay, down you go. Still appearing. I don't see things. <laughs> oh man. It's fine. I want more of this stuff. Happy affiliate birthday. Thank you. Ah. Uh, I don't see it as a, <laughs> as a big thing. I don't know why they're choosing to celebrate that. I think stream anniversary is cool, but like affiliate birthday, man, it's just so. Oh, so the day I started getting paid, happy capitalism day. Um, happy, happy Amazon taking half of your money day. This is how my affiliate thing happened. I started streaming, the affiliate program wasn't a thing. They announced it, and then when they announced it, I got affiliate. So I didn't have to really do the whole thing people have to do now, where you know, they have to meet a bunch of requirements and grind for it. It's just, it happened. I don't know what day it even happened. So it's like, okay, uh, like six years later, now I know. I just started streaming one day and I'm like, oh, huh. I have emotes now. Oh, I have a subscriber button. Oh, they started this new thing called the affiliate program. Okay. I don't know when they activated this, but cool. And that's, that's how it happened. It's... <laughs> Like, I, I, I do appreciate people giving well wishes, but in the case of this, it's just... Like, consider what, what we're, we're celebrating. It's just like, yeah, the day, the day I decided to let people pay me and give Amazon half of it. Uh, do we have another one with... Not really. I need another hammer. Okay, for this, this is definitely a Unovo job. Seems the latest stuff they've uh, they've added to Twitch has been all about money. Hey, celebrate your money day! By the way, speaking of money, did you know that you can encourage your chat members now to spend money to have their chat message pinned to the top of the chat window? They can spend anywhere up to a hundred dollars minimum, 
or $500 maximum. And the more money they spend, the bigger the hype. Happy affiliate anniversary. I'm not joking about that, by the way. That is a, that is now a thing. <laughs> it's it's copying YouTube's super chat feature. Um, yeah. Because you know, instead of innovating and creating new things, they're just trying to get whatever money they can out of the existing user base. Okay, I can make a hammer here. Oh, this is also a treasure. Oh, there's a hammer here. Here's one ready for me. It's not it's not a hundred dollars every time, to be fair. It's just like you'd make it a couple dollars. Um, but I guess I haven't checked. If it's a feature that I have to toggle it on, I'm not going to toggle it on. And if it's a feature where they toggle it on, but I could turn it off, I will most definitely turn it off. I've said this before, chat. I do appreciate the support people give. It means a lot, and uh, it's humbling that people choose to spend their hard-earned money on the random shit that I do here. Like, kind of... Kind of, uh, what's the word? Like, in the, uh, disbelief constantly, right? But... And I say this with kindness. Keep your money. <laughs> That's I I am I am fine. I don't rely on this as a as an income source. Like I have a job that le lets me live pretty comfortably and I'm pretty thankful for that. But uh also I mean, yeah. We live in tougher times. It's I'd rather you spend the money looking after yourselves. But I understand that people want to show support, so... You know, all that stuff is welcomed, but... I will, al I will always say, keep your money. <laughs> Please. You got a job two days ago. You wanna you wanna have a party in a year? Congratulations on the job nonetheless, but just facetious given the topic of uh celebrating anniversaries of money making. Got to convert it to a normal stamp. Okay. Now I know the direction I'm going in. I mean, I'm just gonna eat these because. Cold resist doesn't matter anymore, I just want to heal. I have all these from the president, so let's just do that. Okay, swap to deity. Well, I cut my promise, I said I was going to explore this area. I mean, do the underground, I should say. Oh, Chulin. Look at that. He's like, don't even think about it. You're not getting a headshot here. Okay, I voluntarily decided to, uh...
Alright, cool. What's that done? And I have something to fuse it to this time. <laughs> that thing just got destroyed. You'd like to keep your money, you're not giving money to Twitch or Bezos, that's for sure. No, that's fair. Don't worry, I'm, I'm never gonna ask. Prefer to tip directly instead of buying bits because of that. Yeah, the fifty percent thing is uh, it's definitely a pain point for a lot of people. I don't think they'll be able to continue that forever. Like, there's competition. You thought bits were one hundred percent? Ah, nope. We got half. Any, any, basically, any money you, I guess, directly or indirectly give to a, a streamer through anything Twitch-related, um, the streamer gets half of that. Whether it be bits, subscriptions, gift subscriptions, uh, all of it. It's, we get half. You get the full bits amount. But the stream of the value of it is half. More or less. Do you know what I mean? It's like if you spend five dollars, that's the equivalent of two dollars fifty. Yeah, that's right. If you're on mobile, don't buy bits on mobile. Because um because of the the percentage the app stores want, Twitch increased the prices on mobile of bits. And yeah, just any any purchase on mobile is more expensive. Just don't do it. Okay, um. Alright, now we're going in this direction. So let's convert this one over. But yeah, I don't think they'll be able to keep it that way forever, like... They have competition. I mean, YouTube might get their shit together. You know, to say what you will about Kick. I mean, I don't want to go on that platform, but... They are taking away streamers from them. So... It's just one of those things. They've already kind of backpedaled on a few things. Because they started losing people. You have serious questions about kick. Yeah, look, I mean... when At the end of the day, like... There's talk about kick and where its funding comes from, right? And it, it comes from a parent company that is effectively a gambling company. Now, here's the thing. You can criticize kick about the ethics of gambling, but Twitch's parent company is no better, so it's kind of like there's no moral high ground for either. Now, if you want to talk about the kind of things that happen on the platform as a whole, and I guess the, the sentiment, that's a different story. That you can definitely criticize them for. That one you can definitely have more of a moral high ground. You're thinking business-wise they won't be able to last if they took all the streamers out to pay them an hourly rate. 
Here's the thing about them, is gam gambling money is just insane. That's the thing. They're being propped up by gambling money, and that money, it's, it's effectively bottomless. For me, it's not about, like, saying that Twitch is more ethical, right? That's not it at all. I recognize that both parent companies have their problems. Yeah? Like, you're talking about Amazon and the, the kind of stuff that they get up to with, like, worker violations and overworking and all that sort of stuff. Whatever you read. I'm not saying anything specific. But, uh, me, I just don't... I just don't like the idea of, like, uh... And this is just me personally. I'm not saying it's a moral high ground I'm taking. It's more just... The concept of, uh, like, someone maybe getting into gambling because they were watching me on, on, on this platform. Because it's not just, oh, I'm on, I'm on Kick and that's all where I am. Like, I'd be on YouTube and then I'd be like, oh, watch me live on Kick. And someone that might be typically outside of that world might get dragged into it as a result of being brought to that website. Which is kind of what they want, and I get it, they're a business. But that's just something that I, I personally don't want to do. But I completely understand why streamers would want to go there. It's simply put, Twitch is just making bad decisions lately, and they're just refusing to kind of um just give streamers a better deal. And the stuff they're putting out lately is just trying to squeeze whatever money they can out of the existing user base. So, I, I get it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have no idea about the intricacies of, like, Amazon stuff. But this is just general commentary on things. It's just... I have limited knowledge on, on that stuff, but... You know. Just through osmosis and reading things, you, you know the kind of stuff that happens when it comes to, like, Amazon uh, in general. And why they're so gigantic. So, I don't fault people for wanting to go to kick. It's just, for me, it's it's not the option. It's not an option because I'm not trying to make money out of this, I guess is the thing. The difference here is just, I guess, by someone watching me on Twitch, it's not like they're gonna get hooked on something and then um, go work for Amazon because they watched me on Twitch. You know what I mean? That's that's the difference for me. Also the image thing as well. It's just... Um, I question the kind of audience they keep over there just because of the... Uh, some of the larger streamers are just people that I would never watch just because, yeah, they're... They're not, uh, on my radar. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> You're filling out an Amazon application because of me. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> the other thing as well, um... Gambling is legal in Australia, and the Australians get absolutely fucking bombarded with gambling commercials. Like YouTube, before I, I kind of dug through the settings um, and found a way, I'd say like a third of my ads were gambling related. Even though I've, I'm not the type to gamble, I've never gambled in my life, like 
put money on anything ever. I just I just think it's a waste of money for me. I think it's a waste of money. That's just rich people selling poor people the idea that they can make money easily and taking advantage of that. Damn, that is a... Uh, where is this thing? I can't tell if it's up high or up low. I'm also actively telling people not to subscribe, not to give money through Twitch. I, I just, I don't want to say it every time I stream and I don't want to seem ungrateful, but like, where possible, I'll be like, guys, like, I, I do appreciate the love. It, it's very, very heartwarming and like validating and honestly makes it easier to push the go live button. However, I want to say like, please keep your money. Is it under? It would have to- it surely is under. Oh, that was almost damage taken. No? I've made a huge mistake, haven't I? I marked it correctly, the light route is always directly underneath. I can teleport out, but I'm trying I'm trying to progress this. It's just Hang on, let me look at the Uh huh. Okay. Good. Wait, there's a mine here. Where? This is classified as a mine. Oh, cool. Awesome. Alright, we got this. I will build a flying machine. Um, and then put, uh, I'm worried that a headlight might, might mess up the balance, but let's just see. <laughs> it may, may very well have messed up the balance. This thing is very... It's cool, but it's very delicate in terms of the balance of it. Mm. Not enough room to take off. Giant blooms are better. Oh. Yeah, I never considered that. Like, just attaching. Okay, maybe I should just throw it, huh? I mean, it'd be cool if you can.
the at the end. No, I probably went past that. Somewhere around here. Probably my sorting order is weird. There it is, jeez. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> okay, stop. It turned it off. Oh, fuck. Stop, please. Stop. 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 It's, it's clever. Oh, that's, mu that's much better. Much, much better. That is so much better. Because it doesn't, it doesn't add weight to it. Yeah, thank you for the suggestion. That's a good one. I mean, the steering is still... Still a problem at times, but... It's better. Wait, I... S I don't know, this, this... Oh, it's a Lionel. There it is. Good call. below me or is it? I'll look this way. Yeah, looks like it's below. I'll try and land up but it might be a bit rough. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. Why? Why? Come back. I see it's down there.
while I'm at it. appreciate the Grandu is really equipped when you're on devices. Halfway is useful. Yeah, but outside of it, it's like, his, his attacks just have such a ridiculous wind-up. I don't know. I think they, they could have done a much better job with um, just how the Sage system works. They could have made everything on a button press instead of having to walk up. Um, this is gonna break anyway, so hold on. Alright, well, I'll drop this down here. He knocks out and interrupts enemies. Yeah, but he takes a sweet time to take a swing at them. Compared to the others, like, Chulun is like, he decides to attack. His attack has landed, like, another second later. It just has this unnecessary wind-up that just makes it slow. Think about each sage and how many times they've come in handy. Unless I'm fighting a, like a little mini, like a peblet. Chulun's the one that always just does this this save. Sidon, I think, would be a close second. You've seen clips of him breaking wooden constructions while trying to beat a sneaking enemy? Oh, no. Ah. I mean, I've broken wooden constructions myself. I don't need him also doing it. Why did it turn like that? That was weird. Okay. It's because this is all just... There's no... There's no perfectly flat terrain. Okay, this is probably as close as perfectly flat as I can get. Uh, it's just a halberd with a stone on it, just so I can break... Alright, I might just have to carry it up. I'm just wasting time. I thought bringing it down here would save me time, but oh boy, has it just made things worse. Yeah, nice stairs. Okay, even if it falls, it's fine. Okay. 
Poseidon and Zora weapons are a good loadout because when he applies shield to you, you get a minute of wet status. So it doubles the damage. Oh, that's pretty neat. I just wish... Again, I don't understand why they could... They couldn't have made that shield just when you go to use your shield, just make it a button press. I just hate the fact that I have to walk up and talk to the guy. Sorry, I stopped it. I was either gonna catch it or my body was gonna stop it. Okay. Um, the fuck am I going behind? Suppose you can arrow down on the D-pad, like you whistle for horses. Yeah, but it's there's still jank to it. Like you, it would assume that you have line of sight of him. There's still it's effectively the same problem. It's when you have multiple sages running around in combat, you might accidentally whistle to the wrong one. It's just one of those things where it's man, just make it a button press. How many buttons does a controller have? Oh. Okay, hang on. Where'd it go? It's over here. What the? Where did it go? Did it just despawn on me? Let's stand there. I was gonna say. Drop it. There we go. Um, I'm not sure this is going to be a smooth takeoff, but I'll try. Oh, there's the there's the light route from before. I should get up there because that's stable ground, and then I can face the correct way. Nice. All right. And now... suck to uh, walk through. Nice loading screen. Sit still. They haven't noticed me yet. <laughs> Just ignore the glowing flower. Pay this no attention. As long as I sit still. I'm at my destination anyway. It's a Colosseum. I need Majora's Mask. I have Majora's Mask. I'm good.
Things don't drop tails. There we go. I got a tail finally. Um, we need. This is the one I was trying to do. Yeah. Love this thing. <laughs> it's so good. It's just one of them, it's fine. Silver one. Oh, they don't do the turnaround thing anymore. Ooh. That's how I had to do Trial of the Sword. <laughs> oh man, that, that floor just ugh, took everything out of me to get it done. Love me some collateral damage. One of them just died. this one. Ah, oh, it's Ravio's hood. What's the effect it has? Wearing it increases your sideways climbing spear. Speed. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, um... Going back to this one now. Oh, you know what? Before I do, hold on. Because I did get the ability to upgrade this, the uh, deity set. We'll go to our favorite fairy. I have a friend that, that just I ruined I ruined this for them. They can't they can't visit this fairy. They're like, I hope you're fucking happy. I can't visit this this fairy anymore. I have to go to the one of the other other ones now. Like even if this one's the closest one, I'll go to one of the other ones. All, all I said was, you know, right now, right now, chat, just close your eyes. Close your eyes for a few seconds. <laughs> mm. 
I don't know how they could not see it, but just... Ah? Hmm? Oh. Quality sound design. Finally, have enough to do this. Um, I mean, the helm should be last. The, I don't know why the tails are so rare. Um, anyway, pants, because. Mm. Oh, yeah, there's so much care that, you know, she just enters this state of ecstasy every time she does her job. It doesn't feel like work when you love your job. Um, I don't have enough stuff. Ten? Jeez. Insanity. Um. But I guess, fair, it'll bring this to a twelve, like the rest. Yeah, I don't, I'm not convinced I, I should do this one. I haven't really been putting it on, to be honest. That one is like, mm. that's fine. Mm. May as well. There's no way I'm spending fire tails on this one. Just, that's that's not gonna happen. So I need diamonds for these. Mental nine diamonds to upgrade this to full. Um. Okay, I need to get more moblin horns. Just buy them. Mm. I mean, eventually, probably. Once it, it doesn't really matter, I have more than enough money. Um. All right, head this way. I'll do a couple more. I think I. Yeah, I split this pretty evenly. Halfway through today, I swapped to, uh, to doing this, so. It's just, the problem I have with this area is it's just so empty, really. It's just, you're just going along to these things over and over again. And, I mean, sure, you get a fight every now and then, but... Oh, you know what I should have done? Shit, hold on. One, one more, two more things. Two more things. Battery upgrade, because I got like... Three. <laughs> Just from... The exploration. And I understand the significance of the underground better now, so I, I do appreciate that it does help your overworld exploration, but it's just, they should have done more with it. Like I was saying before, that they, it would have been cool if there were a few dungeons in the underground that after their exploration, um, you get the armor sets. 
Like, it would have been cool to say, get... Even this one, like, go through a dungeon and fight a boss and then your reward is like, your, com your progression through the dungeon gives you this. Instead of just this empty void and then it's like, oh yeah, it's a Colosseum event, but other than that, it's, there's no puzzle or anything there. Which is like what Zelda is traditionally about. Um, we'll get more arrows while I'm here. Uh. Oh. But I, I get that the majority of the effort for this game would have gone into the insane crafting and physics systems. It's just... Uh, I guess I'm just talking about why I, I, I did not feel compelled to explore the underground. I just wanted something that wasn't walking around and effectively this void. I had enough to make four, so that's a lot of extra air time now. Past the halfway mark now. Um, next on the list, just because Hesu's here now. It's just, uh, alright. When you're exploring the surface, collecting shrines, you can upgrade and get stamina and hearts, right? Whereas in down there, it's just the battery. It's other than that, it's when you collect the light roots. The light roots, if you collect four of them, they don't do anything other than reveal the location of shrines, which more than likely you probably would have figured out for yourself. Like really, the underground is only going to help you identify those hard to find shrines, assuming you even work out in the first place that there's a connection. So. Yeah, I don't know. That's just my personal taste. It was much more fun to explore the sky and um, the surface just because I felt a sense of progression. Spoilers, but okay. My chat member in Christ, you're watching a stream where the streamer has like complete link hearts. I don't know what you were expecting. If you, if you don't want to find out about stuff you're not up to, don't, like, I don't know, the person who's playing with, uh, how many shrines now? Like, 147 shrines, and is towards the tail end of the game, odds are you might have something spoiled. I'm not taking responsibility for that one. Anyway, back to the underground. Just for a bit. Okay, uh, we're going to pink. That way. Watching stream spoil stuff. <laughs> oh man, you'd be surprised. There are a few games where Square Enix was like, you cannot stream the endings of these games because we don't want people to get spoiled. You can't upload footage of the ending of these games because we don't want people to get spoiled. It's just like, 
Dude, when people go watch a stream, they're making the conscious decision of spoiling the content. It's at the end of the day, if you don't want the content spoiled, don't watch the stream. It was such a weird stance they took. I, they thankfully haven't done anything like that as of late, but for a period there, they were uh, taking down videos that were the end of the game of certain titles. It's just... You can't control how people consume stuff. Ceiling here. Come on. Nah, it's just a regular tree. I also believe there's like a statute of limitations when it comes to spoiler content. I remember when, um, you know, End Endgame or one of both of those Avenger movies. I remember so it was like at it was at least six months after the movie had you know finished its its cinema run, and. We we're talking about it one day. I, I hadn't seen it yet, but I didn't really care too much about it. Um, and, you know, this one guy got furious that this other person was talking about it. It's like, don't spoil it. It's like, dude, you had the chance to watch it at the movies. It's gone from the movies. It's, it's been six months since then. You can't get mad at people for talking about this. Like, genuinely upset that we were talking about it. You know, I don't have a treasure map for that, but I would bet that there's something there. It's pretty safe to assume there's something there. I think the only time when you can call spoiler is like, let's say, even though it's it's an older game, which was the case for like, all right, Wind Waker. When I played Wind Waker, in advance I was like, okay, I recognize this is an older game, but this is my first time playing it, and I want to keep you know as blind as I can be in it, and I just didn't want to know. I think that's fair enough. But at the outset, before you've even done anything. Yeah, uh, there we go. What is this one? I'll take it. I mean, either way, there was something there. Wait, does this go further down? Okay. <laughs> that was swindled. I mean, it's dead, but I thought it was like a cave or something. Yeah, 
Okay. That's fine. Um, go to this one now. Well, this is this is looking much better now. <laughs> I think I've, I've doubled the amount of light routes I have. Oh, nice. There's a yeah, construction yard down there. Uh, first, I'll see what's over here, but then I'll, I'll go to the construction yard. Okay, hold on. There's stuff to be acquired. Where is he? So, okay, let's... Whistling does nothing. They're not reacting. Unless I'm doing it wrong, but... Doesn't seem like whistling does anything. Imagine you hit max batteries before you find all the light routes in this. That's the other thing. That's, I'm sure the light, the uh, the battery stuff is really useful, but I got the feeling you'd ma you'd hit maximum before you ever found all of them. Steering wheel, steering wheel, steering wheel, steering wheel, steering wheel. Anyone? Oh, this one doesn't have a steering wheel. That's interesting. All right, let me. Fine, I got plenty. That's the only downside to that is like you do set it wait is that another that's another Please don't despawn. Did they spawn? No, it's yeah. Okay, cool. Last so much longer now. Uh oh. 
fine. Still have control. I lost control. Sliding fucked me up. What the? Hey. Huh? I had it sitting on flat ground and it just the, the prompt to get on it didn't come up. There we go. see them <laughs> just straight ahead See, that just makes it so obvious. <laughs> okay, next one over here. Like it's another mining facility. I'll go up here because usually there's uh, energy crystals up the top of these. Not much, but that's eh, something. Alright, where are the Yiga? Wow, oh, maybe. Maybe there isn't any at this one. Getting close again.
Whoa. The heck is this thing? Is this a drilling machine? Yeah, 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 yeah. I lack the phrasey. Oh. Oh. Uh. Connect the frost emitter. Drive a stake here. Mm. It's done. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of figured. That's the joke. <laughs> Just a curiosity. Okay, I mean, this is cool. Okay, uh... I've lost my airship there. Where's this? Yeah, there you are. That's who I was looking for. Usually one. They say the same thing, so I'm not reading it. That's so unnecessary because I, when I want to make a bridge, I just put together the uh, the wing and make a a nice looking bridge. Just put together wings. I mean, maybe I'll be lucky and my thing will still be there. Was that big tower? It's over there. So if I'm lucky, it fell somewhere, and it's still there. It's probably gone. Oh. Oh! Wow. I did not think I was going to recover it. Oh, there was another crafting area down there. Anyway, okay. We are heading... here.
All right, that's another one. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could mine it, but I think I'm good. I'm gonna go for progress instead. Ooh. This is quite the chasm. What happened there? I didn't press a button, it just turned off. Still the right direction. Oh, don't need that. Should be fine. We ah, <laughs> oh, that's annoying. The old backwards thing. All right. There we go. That's safe. When you're gliding backwards and you can't turn around. Yes, I think. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to risk this day spawning, so I'm just gonna ride it there. Yep, I've been playing for uh, quite the amount of time. Hooks! Hooks! 
<laughs> I just wanted it to land down there, that's all. Oh, this thing's here again. Alright, where's the, the jerk fight? Huh? That should do it. What's up? Oh. Hey there. This place is an old abandoned mine. Way back when, they used to refine all sorts of stuff here. Uh. Things like these cool, super rare crystallized charges, and you can still find them around these parts. Take a look. Doesn't it feel like there's something hidden inside them? My friends are the ones who told me about these crystals, so I'm trying to lug a few back for them. Hmm, who are my friends you ask? Why, isn't that obvious? Oh. The rest of the Yiga clan. Mm. Everyone, attack, he's here! I, I, I. Oh, that, there's a chest there. There may have been chests at the other ones. Whoops. I may have missed on treasure chests on <laughs> the other one. That's okay. Um, where is bike and blueprint? Blueprint is here. That seems more useful. time, whatever that is. Ancient observation deck. We. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't even the treasure. Okay, it's down there. the hero. Nice. If I want Link to look classic, I can work on that. Okay, now let's delete that. Let's put 
fine. I mean, it's awkward. All right, I'll try and turn around. Whoa, pull up. Okay, got it. Right, that kind of helped. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not fair. I can't fix this, can I? Fuck. <laughs> that was just so unfortunate. Of all the things to get stuck on, I just got perfectly wedged down there. Okay, this thing has to die. See what I mean? Look, look at how long it took for the, him to step in and take that swing. He swings his sword in a circle three times before he actually lands the hit. be okay. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, go. <laughs> Ooh. There would appear to be a wall here, hang on. I need to head along here. Yeah, this seems like the right thing. There it is. Okay, well, this was the last light route I was going to get, chat. Um, I noted the time, it is late, and I'm feeling sleepy, so <laughs> I'm going to go uh, get some rest now, but did an extra long session of Zelda today, because I didn't play it yesterday. It's been, you got five hours almost of it, so... Hope you did enjoy. Um, tomorrow I'll return and we'll do more of this probably, but then maybe something else. So I'll make up my mind during the day. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, especially if you're watching later on YouTube. Uh, thanks for clicking and making it to the end and consider the continuation of the button clicking to appease the algorithm if you want to support the channel. But yeah, thanks to those that have been doing that. All right. Have a good rest of your day, chat. I'm going to go get some rest. Take care. I'll see you next time. And I will definitely continue more of the underground. So that's why I've left it here.
All right. Bye, chat.